How do you do an advanced search using the TESS lookup? My name is George Anagnostu with My Amazon Guy, and this matters because you may want to look for trademarks at a more granular level rather than using their basic word mark search where you can just search by one brand name at a time. So uh, the first thing I'll show you real quick is the basic word mark search if you're not familiar. You can go to Google, type in TESS, and the first thing that pops up should be their search tool. So click into that link, it'll take you to the screen that you were just at. Um, I'm going to search real quick by a brand that I'm familiar with, Nalala's, which I found on Amazon, and they were into the best sellers, and they're selling, they're doing the premium play, selling for significantly more than all the other mats and selling cute ones. So I wanted to look into this brand in the TESS and just see who they used as an attorney on their word mark. So I'm going to search Nalala's. You're going to click Submit Query, and uh, we got some information here. So. The advanced method that I'm about to show you, what it's going to do is we're going to search using field codes. And these field codes are going to capture the information that is attached to each of these fields here on this trademark and on all of the trademarks in their system. So basically, uh, I'm going to go over, I'm going to scroll up. I want to see, let's see, Christina S. Loza. So let me copy that. I'm going to go over to Freeform, which is this fourth tab. And then I'm going to, it's already saved the uh, search that I had from earlier. So two things I want to point out when searching using the attorney of record field code, which is AT, you need to, if there's multiple words in the name, you need to make sure that you uh, encompass it in a quotations. Additionally, you don't want to put the period that is showing on the trademark. It won't work. If you put a period, it's just going to show, it shouldn't show any results. So, took that period out. I'm going to take that period out real quick. Do a search. And there we go. We got 270 records here. And what I did here is I used two field codes. So, the two field codes I used are the attorney of record and the filing date field code. If you want to learn about any of these, I highly recommend you uh, you can click into any of these field codes. It'll take you to the same documentation. It'll take you right to the section of the documentation that'll explain whichever one you click on. So if I want to know more about the filing date, uh, I would just click on FD here, filing date. It'll take me right to that section. And this is where I discovered that you can actually search for trademarks that were filed for in a specific date range. So I want to see trademarks that were filed for recently. So I searched for, I changed their, um, I think they by default had it here from 1980. It says it'll search for all marks of the filing date from January of 1980 through December of 89. So basically you're going to enter that in there, change it to whatever you want. So I made mine January of 2023 to September to capture up to today's date of August 26, 2023. And I'm looking for all attorneys or all trademarks filed under attorney Christina S. Loza. And we have 270 records. Um, one other thing I want to point out, it's only going to give you 100 rows of data. So if you did want to export this using their CSV function here, uh, I would advise you run your search. But first doing this drop down here to make sure that it gives you as many rows of data as it allows, which is 500. So now we can quickly just run it. I can click on CSV and I can export these. And then my use case here would be, I'm interested in seeing if this is an attorney that is a notorious private labeler uh, filing for private label brands. Then I would just string together these brands and remove duplicates, string them together. And then I would search them in mass using a tool like uh, Keepa's premium data access tool where you can search using the brand attribute and you can search for multiple brands at once. Uh, and then I'll search for um, also adjust the parameter for likes the items under those brands that have a uh, high sales velocity. So I'll put a, um, a certain minimum threshold of uh, Kiba drops. So that's just how I use the the TESS advanced lookup. There's a million other ways that you could use it. I'm sure you'll find a uh, a use case that works for you. Uh, have fun with it. And again, my name's George with my Amazon guy. We filed for. Um, Trademarks at my Amazon guy, we filed for 2,000 trademarks, and we can also file for you. So head on over to myamazonguy.com, and uh, yeah, we could file for a trademark for you. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.